Hey guys, Joel Bridenwell here. Thanks for joining me on this Marriage and Family Monday. If you haven't had a chance to see the Finance Friday video yet on increasing your budget, take a look and uh, feel free to comment. Uh, on Select the Bible Topic Tuesday, I'll be posting some topics that you can choose and I'll uh, address one of those. Uh, but on this issue, I want to talk about some basic elements to include in your family devotion or family worship. So uh, scripture says, uh, the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy in 2 Timothy 3, verse 14 and 15. He says, but you, uh, and he talks about how he needs to uh, remain in what he has learned, you know, knowing from whom you have learned him and what you have firmly believed, knowing that you uh, uh, learned or became acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Uh, he talks about those he'd, he'd learned from, and that was t told us in chapter 1, verse 5, his mother and his grandmother, and how they had taught to him the sacred scriptures. In Jewish life, they began uh, memorizing scriptures early as five years of age. And so uh, the Apostle Paul was reminding Timothy that, hey, you've, you know the sacred scriptures, you continue in those things. And so he had learned those and been part of that in his growing up years, in his time as in, in family devotions. And so what we have found to be very helpful in our family devotions throughout, uh, throughout our uh, time together with kids uh, is use elements at different stages of life. I mean, the scriptures, of course, are primary. And so whether that's um, teaching them like from a children's Bible or something, we found when we had toddlers, the um, Pray and Play Bible was real helpful. There's a lot of different songs in there, and it tells you what tune you can sing them at, and they're uh, they coincide with the Bible lesson that you learn about. There's craft ideas you can include as well. Uh, as the kids get a little older, um, the, I think the, the Bible should kind of graduate to, a, to a, a children's Bible and then an older children's Bible and a youth Bible and so forth. You can read those stories. Uh, I think songs can be appropriate, obviously prayer time, and get them to pray as well, get them to share prayer requests. Uh, and uh, just sometimes even get them to share testimonies or answer questions about the Bible story. And we have found those to be ways in which it helps reinforce God's word in their lives, helps them see where, uh, helps us see where they're at in their journey and what they understand about the scriptures. And uh, there are some good ones out there like the, the Jesus Storybook Bible, I think is a, a good one for elementary age kids, um, especially the younger elementary age kids from second or third grade and below. Um, just a lot of good stuff out there. So uh, you may want to share some good resources you've used uh, through the years. That's stuff we've used. And let me just encourage you, aim for every day, but uh, don't beat yourself up over when you miss a day. I would say the days that aren't as important, if you uh, obviously are in church on Sundays, but let's say Wednesday nights as well, um, you know, you're getting that in. Uh, you're getting Bible in there. Their kids are getting Bible. So if there's days you miss, those are, I think, better days to miss because they're going to get the Bible anyway. Uh, but uh, hopefully you can blend it in some of those other days. Again, if you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. Satan wants you to get discouraged and qu give it up, but Jesus wants you to keep doing it. So just say, Lord, I'm sorry for these last couple days. It's not gone well, but, but today is going to be a, a good day, and we're going to start off in your word. You may want to do that at the beginning of the day. You may want to do that in the evening before they go to bed or at mealtime. Uh, we've used it at different times in our family's life, whatever seems to work best at that stage. So feel free to make those adjustments. But I hope this has been helpful to you. Again, feel free to comment and uh, I'll see you again soon. God bless.